This is Nick Street, senior writer with the USC Center for Religion and Civic Culture. Images in a chapel at the University of Central America bear witness to the murder of thousands of civilians during El Salvador's civil war, which began in 1980. Among these victims were six Jesuit priests, a domestic worker, and her daughter, all of whom were assassinated on the university grounds in November 1989 by a Salvadoran counterinsurgency unit trained by the U.S. Army. Though the war ended in 1992, obdurate poverty continues to hinder social development in many rural areas and nurtures gang violence in urban districts like Mexicanos and Iberia. Evangelical and Pentecostal movements have grown dramatically in El Salvador over the past three tumultuous decades. The central place of emotion and individual experience in these modes of worship, particularly in the case of Pentecostalism, is one of the keys to understanding their success in many unsettled parts of the developing world. On a Tuesday evening, buses transport parishioners to a service at Mission Cristiana El Nino, an 80,000-member megachurch in Soyapango, a poor and working-class suburb a few miles east of San Salvador. Like many other Pentecostal denominations, Elim uses music to create a worship culture that combines exuberance and deeply emotional piety. This musically mediated emotionalism is equally important in newer neo-Pentecostal churches like Centro Cristiano, a congregation that attracts well-educated, upwardly mobile worshipers who generally live in safer neighborhoods with American-style amenities. Mario Vega, the senior pastor at Elim, sees this link between feeling and faith as the distinguishing mark of Pentecostalism, even as the movement continues to diversify and evolve. And the element of Pentecostalism that we still keep is the vivencia de una espiritualidad profunda it's uh, living a profound or deep spirituality y que continúa tocando las emociones de las personas that continues to touch the emotions of people the integration of individual emotional experience with a belief in profound spiritual transformation is the heart of Pentecostalism's appeal it is also the thread that connects the worship culture at places like Alim to social outreach programs aimed at easing gang violence and other consequences of collective trauma. Los programas con pandilleros In fact, the programs with gang members no funcionarían si no hay una conmoción emocional que les permita deshacerse de su vergüenza crónica. Wouldn't work if there wouldn't be uh, something through which they could get rid of their uh, uh, emotional commotion. At the end of the worship service at Elim, the congregants prayed silently or aloud, and some testified to their experience of the presence of the Holy Spirit by praying in tongues. Ushers carried microphones to a handful of older women who prophesied another gift of the Holy Spirit. This woman admonished an unnamed member of the audience to remain strong in her faith during a time of difficult spiritual struggle, a challenge with which many members of Elim, indeed many Salvadorans, can closely identify. This is Nick Street for the USC Center for Religion and Civic Culture.